Hey, thanks for tuning in to Off-Road Stuff. I know it's been a minute, and I told you guys there's stuff coming, but uh, there again, I've said it before, work's just been crazy. So uh, anyways, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, last video I put the uh, winch bumper on. Uh, I came across this sale on this Badlands, so it's the uh, ZXR9500 from Harbor Freight. Uh, so far, nice looking little winch. Um, and I got something to put on here. So if you guys notice, we got the, uh, come standard with the uh, wire rope, the cable, and we're gonna change it out. So stay tuned. All right, here it is. This is Freedom Ropes, uh, 3 8 by 80 foot winch rope. So uh, this isn't uh, gonna be like a total step-by-step how-to just gonna be kind of a quick overview um, one thing and I, I haven't even looked on this one but I, I'm on this winch some of these um, the way that the rope attaches to the winch versus how the cables attach to the winch are different from uh, manufacturer to manufacturer of winches so uh, we're gonna get this old cable out of here put this new freedom ropes winch rope on and uh, see what we run into stay tuned see that so when I let tension off it basically tried to spool itself back in just off of spring pressure and memory that's one of the reasons why I don't really care for cable winch line all right so we got it out to the end and you can see the rope just uh, passes through this hole and there's a, I don't know if you can see, looks like an Allen set screw that just kind of holds it in there. So we'll get that out. We're gonna get that out and then uh, we'll open up the Freedom Rope and uh, see what they have on the end of their ropes and see so what we gotta do to get it on this winch. Okay, so on their ropes, they have this little, uh, I don't know what you're going to call it, like an eyelet thimble or something like that. So I'm going to show you guys what you got to do to make this work. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put some tape over this just to kind of hold it. We're going to cut this off. And basically, we're just going to fish it back through that hole, set the put the set screw back in it, and that should be it because all it has to do is just hold the tail in place and the line pressure from the wraps on the drum is enough to keep it on there so uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second okay so I got it in there at a little bit not a struggle but I just had to mess with it a little bit because that hole is really really tight I mean that the cable barely fit in there so what it did is if you guys can see I'm gonna set this right here so I can focus I just took in uh, tape that really tight so it has a tail it's it's tapered so that it kind of feeds through and then I got some uh, good old Dawn dish soap use it uh, as a little bit of a lubricant and got it in there once I pulled it through uh, to where I was happy I just put the set screw back in there and then uh, cut that little tail off so that's about it. Um, some of these are different, like the one, hold on, uh, there you guys are. So when I put the one on the tracker, the tracker has a Ramsey winch on it. And on that one, it uses this little, where are you guys at over here? This little eyelet. Um, yeah, on, the, on like on the Ramsey style, it just kind of goes in the side right here, lays in. Yeah, kind of like that and then it just has a set screw that holds it to the side of the drum so they're all a little bit different you just have to see what you got and uh, kind of mess with it just a little bit but it wasn't too bad
Okay, one more thing. If you guys haven't figured it out, we got to change the uh, the fair lead over. So I grabbed this guy um, while they were having a sale here a couple weeks ago. But one thing, because this happened to me on the tracker, was that this opening wasn't quite the same as this opening. And uh, I had a little side pull right here, and my rope caught it, and it cut it. So um, on the tracker, I put my fair lead up there. And I marked it with a, I think it was like a white or a silver sharpie. And then I just took a die grinder and cleaned it up, put a little paint back on it. So uh, just check that real quick. Okay, folks, there it is. Got my new uh, Freedom Ropes winch line on there. If you guys want one, go on over to freedomropes.com. So that's 80 feet. And I can barely stick my fingers through there. Um, which is fine. I need to uh, obviously load it under load or spool it under load. I guess that would be the correct term. Um, but we'll do that on another day. I just wanted to get it on here. Um, if you guys like this, you want to know more about it, go to Freedom Ropes. Tell them I sent you and uh, those guys will take care of you. If you got any questions, uh, look them up online or reach out to them. Facebook, um, Instagram, you know, they're all over the place. So uh, they got, obviously, you know, got winch ropes, soft shackles. They got the uh, kinetic energy rope. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with a friend, ring the bell for notifications, and most importantly, be safe and go do something fun.